Hello, my name is Mike Imwali. Welcome to Early Santa Barbara Virtual History Lessons presented by the Santa Barbara Trust for Historic Preservation. Today's lesson will be focused on ceramics. So here at the Presidio, um, ceramics were used for a variety of purposes. Um, what you see here in front of me is a variety of ceramic um, dishes or, or pots. Um, ceramics were used to cook food like this in this cooking vessel that was made locally from local clay. Um, and they were also used to serve food, like this cup, which is glazed and also made locally. Most of the ceramics made at the Presidio were unglazed, like this. They were hand modeled. The clay was um, shaped over another bowl that was used as a form. And then that, that bowl was heated over an open pit fire. Um, Glazed ceramics required a much more controlled environment and they were fired in a kiln. Um, so most glazed ceramics were imported to the Presidio from Mexico City. These were actually made in Mexico and were excavated here at the Presidio um, archeologically. And you can see on the back here, these are actually refit from multiple pieces. So uh, now we're gonna have Mr. De La Rocha do a demonstration on how pottery is manufactured on a kick wheel. He's also going to show you uh, what a pottery kiln looks like. This structure right here, it's what we call the kiln, which is just an oven for ceramics. And you can see how, how it was made, you know, with bricks, high fire bricks, not just any brick, you know, it has to be a high fire brick, especially Especially made for this. So up here, up here, this is like like a chimney. But this, this is also very critical. You have to open this because the flames are gonna come out of here. And by opening this, it's how how you control the temperature. This uh, tool right here, it's a it's called a kick wheel. They call it kick wheel because you kind of kick it like this. Like so, right here. As you can see, it only takes a few kicks for this to keep on going and moving. So I don't need any electricity other than my legs to do this. 